Yeah. Uh, yes. I, um, I think the potential for that exists. I just think it's so far out there because the, we're not even scratching the surface of what's possible. The problem we have today is the jobs don't exist where the talent lives. And this is a high class problem for the for Evgeny and Omsk Russia, who was making seven dollars an hour taking the bus to work 45 minutes each way. Well, yeah, now he's not riding the bus. So I guess, uh, you know, the bus company might have to worry. But Evgeny is making so much money. He made one hundred and forty one thousand dollars last year living in Omsk. He worked over uh, twenty five hundred hours in the first six months of this year alone. And he, his friends want to know where where he got the BMW because. He never leaves his house. He walks around. I'm picturing the, uh, you know, he's got a smoking jacket on and he's coding all day. And his friends say, where'd you get the, the money? And his employer is saying, gee, I wish there were more people like you in the world. And he says, wait a second, I have a friend. And then that friend gets another friend. And now there's 20 guys. They have a firm called Q Code. And they're now getting more and more workers. They're bringing in junior guys and teaching them to be senior guys. And so what happens on Odesk is a lot of contractors become clients. They turn around and end up hiring others for different skills. And one such guy in, in Austin, Texas, uh, no, it's Dallas, my bad, uh, started as a contractor at $14 an hour, stair-stepped his way to $85 an hour, turned around and created a business called Creativity, and now is hiring people on Odesk to help run that business. And we're seeing this all over the world. So clients our contractors become clients. And so I think that there's a benefit to having uh, workers in Jamaica gravitating toward these jobs because the dollars are going to help the GDP. They're going to turn around and hire more workers. And then the way you learn is by getting exposed to, you, you practice, you drill, and you rehearse. That's how you learn. So go get real world experience and then start your own company, right? And so I think it's a road to entrepreneurship that, um, that ultimately uh, could help. Is there going to be some shift uh, possibly, I think it's a long-term, uh, way out there problem. So, Jonathan, is there no downside to this whatsoever? Oh, do I have to answer that? Yes. One? <laughs> I, um, I, th I think that the 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 um, unease about how um, little room for ever, error and how global some of these uh, competitive marketplaces are um, is is. Uh, is onto something that you know that we talk about livelihoods again. That, that people who have the um, previously were just competing with a small pool of, of talent to figure out how to make money in in city X now are, are competing with people all across the world. Um, and that that does mean I, you know we will bring out the best in, in people, and it also is a, a different scenario than than we've become accustomed to. So I think there are some real uh, tensions around that. But can I say yeah, one please. other thing on? Um, just the notion of it all rooting through North America or Europe or something like that, which is, which is not not the case. I mean, we're, c coming back to that thing I said earlier about first it was get the network out there, and then get to the point where we can build some platforms on top of it that, that can be great tools for livelihood. Um, there are uh, there are a lot of efforts right now to house uh, local innovation centers like incubators and i hubs, and uh, I'll list them in a second all around the world for people building for local contexts. Um, so I know them in South Africa. iHub in Nairobi is worth a look, and the whole Nairobi tech scene is startups making stuff for other Kenyans. Um, and it's because the young kids have, have grown up with the phones, and they want to fix the problems that they're, that they're feeling. And th we are seeing that kind of explosion just in a, in a few years, and it is a moving target. But I'm, I'm pretty enthusiastic about that stuff. And Jacob, could you speak to the question about moving from the informal to the formal sector? Yeah, I mean, I think, again, our platform uh, in particularly East African labor markets does tackle the informal sector. There are um, temporary jobs, short-term work, uh, work available in a number of different settings. And the nice thing about the wide reach of the platform, and in our case, the fact that it's bottom of the pyramid and is accessible on any type of mobile phone, means that if you are an informal worker, you can still get hooked into it. Uh, what the bank can do, I think, would be, again, uh, add support to uh, wider piloting of this technology in specific informal sectors, in specific regions, and then also research and analysis on the impact and potential of the technology. Those are two things that I think are easy steps to take. Uh, I, I should mention InfoDev, uh, your, your uh, close colleagues and neighbors are, are quite closely involved with this uh, you know, kind of incubator labs for mobile space. I don't know if anybody's in the room. But. I think we've come to the end of our appointed time, and you get to give the benediction. 
Uh, no, uh, just <laughs> I'm just uh, going to thank you all for um, a fantastic uh, session, um, an excellent mo moderation. Just trying to to get something out from that that was not really mentioned. I would like to to link your excellent work and experiments in something that we are trying to get our bu ourselves busy in, basically related to education and the skills management of of the young. In in the in many cases, you are dealing with the end products of education systems and training centers. So. To what extent you can really get yourself in, involved in the public good that can benefit you eventually in your private business? You have wealth of information that you shared with us now about the uh, what's needed in the market, what kind of qualifications, and uh, uh, and you are making, I hope, some good business out of that. But this business could be even better by investing in the education systems and the training uh, facilities we have. Now, just before before the meeting, I got from our team involved in the jobs and the skills and the training the following. And now everybody is going to be engaged very soon with the uh, Millennium Development Goals and the education targets and all. Amazing uh, outcomes as far as the schooling is concerned, tripling the, the average years of schooling from um, 1950 to now, good, good performance in the enrollment uh, side, but no corresponding increase in skills. Um, if they are saying that economies are failing, uh, are facing skill shortages almost everywhere. Large numbers of the young are unable to find jobs. Higher education institutions lack essential links with labor markets. And I think your, your, your involvement here could be really by feeding some useful information to governments, to educators, and to those who are concerned with the public service uh, in this area. And the bank can really provide the platform for that. We have the open data initiative that we can, we are not going to be getting your data because you are making, of course, your own living out of that. But basically, some sort of guidance, instead of just having a kind of a, of a circle of the blind, leading the blind in many cases. Um, so he, here is basically my main plea or request that we need to engage with you in a way that can obtain information to get us better in serving the people that we're trying to serve. But beyond that, uh, I'd like, on behalf of everybody here from the bank side, to, to thank you all, to thank David uh, for excellent moderation and uh, for uh, the, uh, uh, the representatives of the excellent companies we have today, Jonathan, uh, Gray, and Jacob, for sharing uh, with us experience. I know that many co colleagues like, my, like myself have been taking notes and possible follow-up issues that would be happy to engage with you in. Well, thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.